Hey guys, this is David with Average Joe Investing, and I just realized that I made a channel based on how to get started in the stock market and an Average Joe's journey through it, and I never really showed you guys a basic tutorial on how to start. So basically, you're going to open up the Robinhood app. Obviously, this is after the account creation and all that, which we'll go into that in a minute. But every single time you sign in, it's going to ask for your fingerprint. So there we go. You can also do a password if you want to sign in that way. But personally, I use the fingerprint. It's just a little more secure, honestly. And if we take a look there, ouch, I got burnt pretty badly by MLP. But hey, look, we actually have a decent gain going on today. So this is going to be kind of your main home screen. There's going to be a little hub that kind of shows everything that you've done for the day, your kind of account balance there, and then as well as the gains and losses. And then down here in the middle of the screen, you can see how you're doing for the week. Obviously, right there is where I got crushed. The month, three months, year, and all time since you created your account. Next up, we're going to scroll down just a little bit here. Right there where it says you're all caught up, it'll actually give you little stories about each individual stock that you're invested in. At the end of the day, it'll give you the top 10 gainers for the day, the top 10 losers in terms of all stocks, not just the ones you're invested in. And there's a couple other stories and hints that kind of pop up along the way there. So if we scroll down just a little bit further, obviously as you see here, it says positions. So these are going to be the stocks that you're actually invested in. So for example, if we pop in just MLP here, same exact thing as on the main screen. You can break it down by the day, the week, the month, all of that. You can see the buy and sell buttons there. We'll get into that in a minute. And if you scroll down each individual stock, it'll tell you this is your position in it. This is how much you paid on average, as well as the return all time and the return for today. Volatility is basically how much on average that stock's gonna bounce around in a day. So obviously MLP here, really high volatility. This stock's gone in a range of like $20 over the last year. Okay, so our buying power, the $3.45, that's just how much cash you have in the account right now that you can use to buy and sell shares. Right now, mine's pretty low because I'm just fully invested with the money I have in the account. Under recent news, this is gonna be kind of like that one on that homepage, except for here, it's gonna break down just the new stories that include the stock that you're currently looking at. So all three of these stories have to do with MLP. Then on the bottom there, that's just your kind of stock variation through the day, through the 52 weeks. It'll tell you how much on average, how many shares a day get sold and bought of this stock. Give you the market cap, the size of the company, a PE ratio, and then it'll let you know if there's a dividend yield or not. And then the last thing that I really look at here, this is just going to be the earnings compared to the expected. Underneath that, it's just different uh, your order history kind of things that you placed, things you bought, things you sold. And then at the bottom, they always just give you kind of an about each and every company. Okay, so back on the home page, obviously these are all just the ones I have positions in. So I mean, I could click in there and show you the stats of each individual one, but this is just kind of a basic overall tutorial, so that's not really that important. If we take a look here, you'll see that I have two new ones, uh, Chesapeake Energy and Sirius XM Radio. I'll explain why and how all that all came about here in a minute. But right below that's gonna be the watch list. So you'll see just a lot of the ones I've been talking about in videos basically here. This is where you can play stocks that you don't currently wanna buy a position in, but ones that you kinda wanna keep a look on. So these will be just all the different ones I've been looking at here. And like I said, for the most part, these are not ones I'm gonna be investing in. They're just the ones that I've made videos on. Okay, so that's gonna be your main hub there. Up in the top right, there's just a little search bar here. Then you know, you can ask just how you search stocks. If I wanna look at Apple, type it in, press it, and then there's Apple's page. It's gonna be the same thing as the MLP page was. So as you can tell, it's a pretty intuitive and pretty easy to use program. So that's just basically I'm gonna search stocks and look at the stocks you have there. So if you wanted to actually buy a stock, we'll click on, uh, let's do Apple this time. So if I wanted to sell my shares, obviously I'd push sell, and it's gonna be a pretty similar process here. But we'll go ahead and click the buy button. And then it'll ask you how many shares do you wanna buy? But this is one thing you kinda of have to take a look at here, because if you do this, it's just gonna do what they call a market order, which basically just means that it puts in an offer saying, hey, I wanna buy this share but it doesn't always buy it at that 150, 54 that you see there. It's actually just gonna buy it at the lowest price that somebody else has one posted for right now. So sometimes it'll be less than that, but sometimes it's gonna be quite a bit more. So personally what I do is click on order types and you'll see there that where it has a limit. If we click that, I can actually put in, so if it's trading at 150, 54, maybe I only wanna pay $150 per share. So, you know, save that 54 cents. And if you're gonna do day trading or swing trading, 
This is really important because this is where you're going to kind of make your margins. So, and if you go to sell, you have the same option. Just click that top button and you can limit sell so that you're only going to sell it if it gets up to X amount of price. But if we hit the green button here, it'll ask you, do you want it to expire at the end of close today? Which is personally what I do, or you can do never expire. So it'll just stay there until you buy or sell those shares. I always do good until close because if I accidentally forget about it, and then all of a sudden, you know, a company drops like crazy, but I put a limit buy in there. I'm going to be buying a bunch of shares I don't want because the price has changed a ton. So let's just hit 4 p.m. today. And then here you have the number of shares you want to buy. And you'll see on the bottom there, it'll give you an estimated cost. And if you try to buy it and don't have the money in the account, it'll pop up a little warning saying, hey, do you want to transfer money to your account? Okay, so those are the very basics of buying and selling. Now, if we see those three lines there in the top left corner, if we click on that, this is what's going to give you all your account details, your portfolio value, buying power. Robinhood Gold, I might make a video on in the future. Honestly, it's not really worth it. Free stocks, I'll go over that at the end of the video. And if you guys sign up for Robinhood, if you've never used it before, there's an opportunity for me and you to both get a free stock. Accounts, just going to be your basic account information. You can get different financial statements, things like that through there. Banking, just where you're going to be adding your accounts and to either add money to the Robinhood account so that you can buy more stocks. Or if you decide to cash out and you want to withdraw money from the Robinhood account back to your bank account, you can do that there. Your history, if we click on that here, you'll see on the top, so obviously you're trying to sell MLP, but I'm trying to sell for a gain, so that's not gonna go through anytime soon. AT&T is paying a dividend here coming August 1st. I'll be getting 98 cents added to my account. And you'll see just every other thing that's been added to the account or, you know, orders I've canceled or things like that. Your history is just kind of a generalized everything you've done, stock trading and things like that through the account. So next we'll go over settings. This is just where you can change your security if you don't want to do fingerprint. You can do two-factor authentication, which I don't use, but basically they text you a password you have to type in every time you want to log into. Notifications, just going to change, you know, do you want email sent to you? Do you want just like a push notification on your phone or whatever? And that's going to be pretty much all the important stuff through here. Obviously, you can click through the app if you want to learn more about it. Okay, so finally, let's go over why I have shares of Chesapeake Energy and Sirius XM. And it's going to go back through where it says free stocks here. So basically, I get a referral code. Um, if you set up a brand new account, you don't have one. It's only for select users. And I think it's just how long you've had your portfolio, to be honest with you. So basically, if you use the referral code that I'm going to leave in the comment section down below to set up an app, you're going to get a stock valued anywhere from $2.50 to $200. And then I get one as well. So obviously, you don't have to do this. But if you do want to use my referral code, it helps you out, helps the channel out a little bit. Like I said, I had two friends try it here just to make sure that everything's working properly. I got a share of Sirius and I got a share of Chesapeake Energy. So just kind of a quick things you can get. So you have a one in 60 chance of getting a company like Facebook, Apple, or Microsoft. One in 40 chance of getting a company like Ford, Sprint, or GoPro. So stocks kind of valued around that $10 range. But you always definitely get a stock if you use this referral code. So let's just take a look at the people I invited here. And again, I had two friends try this out just to make sure everything's working properly. If you set up the account, you do need to enter things like your social security number because you are signing up to be a day trader, or not a day trader, but a stock trader. Also, you do not have to put in bank information in order to collect your one free share. Obviously, you're not gonna have much of a portfolio if you get something that's valued at you know three bucks, but hey, it is a nice bonus there. You don't have to pay for it. And like I said, in order to get this, you do not have to put in your bank information. So as you see there from Nate, I got a share of Chesapeake. When Sam signed up, I got a share of Sirius XM. I know for a fact, Nate also got a share of Sirius XM. I'm not sure what Samantha got as her free share. She actually had to go into work before she texted me. But this is something that, you know, if you want to start getting involved with this, if you've never tried Robinhood before, go ahead and click your referral code down there in the description. You will get a free share. I get a free share. And you know, hey, hopefully get something a little bit better than I got. But even if not, you're going to download the app anyway. You might as well get a little bit of extra value for it. So that's going to be the end of this video. Um, one thing right there in the bottom, you'll see those little stories I was talking about. So DXL's down right now. And there's one about a share that one of you guys actually told me to look at. So that one's up 2.25% today. But again, that's just kind of a very basic how to use the Robinhood app. If you guys have any questions on anything specifically, obviously I can make a video diving into that a little bit deeper. 
Also, any questions I might be able to answer in the comment section below as well. So again, if you guys feel like it, go ahead and use their referral code. You can get Robinhood for yourself. We'll both get a share of stock randomly. But again, you don't have to. If you guys just kind of looking at the stock market now, watch me lose my money. Don't worry about losing yours. Or obviously, if you're already using Robinhood, hey, keep going. I hope you're doing a little better than I am. Obviously, I've only had that one bad day, but that one bad day absolutely destroyed my portfolio, and we're working on rebuilding it back up. But anyways, guys, stick along with that journey. We're going to build it right back up. We'll see where we go with this thing. As always, guys, have an absolutely fantastic day.